Well, as you can hear, it's morning. Lots of roosters crowing. I'm doing the roundup, but I'm only doing it around outside of the planting bed on the tough grass that seems to grow everywhere. It's Bermuda and it travels like crazy. So well, that's what I'm up to this morning. I'm doing it in the morning, early sunrise when the wind is calm. Uh, there is a little bit of a breeze out here, but it's blowing away from my fruit trees. Um, we've got rain coming, I don't know, next week, Monday, and right now it's Friday, so I've got three days. Uh, I'm using the Super Concentrate. It's very important to follow all the directions on Roundup for sure. Uh, most of the mishaps occur when people don't follow the directions, so I recommend highly following the directions. Two and a half ounces per gallon with this particular uh, concentrate. I've sprayed the entire area outside of the box and just outside of my string lines where my fencing is going to go. So in a couple days it should start to take effect and uh, it'll kill the roots in one to two weeks from what I understand so I also went around the outside of the greenhouse around the posts I need to catch up on my concrete work there and this will all be bricked in not with concrete or anything like that probably won't even lay down sand I'll probably just lay it down right on top of the grass smooth it out a little bit I'm debating in my own mind whether to put down landscape cloth to keep further grass from growing or do I want to risk round upping anything that comes up between the bricks hmm well I'll think about that later I need dirt today well side note um, I had a clove of garlic that started to grow on me so uh, I went ahead and planted a few of them just to see what the heck happens. I don't know anything about growing garlic, but I planted them. This one, I used the mycorrhizae. I put a layer of mycorrhizae right where I laid the uh, bulb. And so this will be the beta test one right here, and we'll see how it compares to the rest uh, in a short time. All right back to doing something useful. Okay, I know that this series is called inexpensive, and it can be. Uh, you can build a raised bed garden cheap. Uh, do like I did, get recycled materials. Now here's where you start dumping some money. Um, not a lot, but I've got soaker hoses coming that I've ordered specifically designed for rain barrels. Now I've redone my plumbing again. I've got a dump valve here, a main dump valve, and I've got a shutoff valve for the garden feed. And then of course this is for my hose. And then this goes, it's all the same, that goes into the greenhouse. So, you know, it. and I just spent $300 on topsoil uh, and it's a 50% it's not really topsoil it's 50% mulch and 50% ground pine bark or pine something pine bark I think he said and it, it's really great for raised bed gardens he says that's what he commercially grows and that's what he uses so that's what I'm going with Uh, the new irrigation pipe is buried and it's been a few minutes I guess I'll see if it works got the valve on it's already filled this all the way up we'll open this guy and see what kind of pressure we get Wow that's got some PSI there Pretty low actually it should be I think it's a half a psi per foot of elevation 
And now I'm not sure if that's the source or if that's the top of the water level. It's probably the top of the water level. So six feet maybe. It's got to come back up. So about six feet. So three PSI. That looked, it could have been only three PSI and just a lot of volume. Low pressure, high volume. Okay. Well, that was a success. Now I'm standing by for my topsoil. Pete wasn't able to get the dirt yesterday. He had truck issues, so he's bringing it this morning. Unfortunately, I won't be here when he arrives. I'm going to take my biannual flight review today. Uh, it's about that time. And I'm gonna do a little bombing runs. Mm, had a little private strip. Um, maybe I'll include a little bit of video on it. But uh, I'll get my biannual, get this over with. Then I can take my airplane out anytime I want if I can dig it out of the back of the hangar. All right, that's it for now. Pita, he brought hello. hello. He brought the uh, topsoil and kind enough to let me use his trailer. And oh my God, this stuff is was it was it a light load? Not light at all. <laughs> wow, that is a load. Uh, they suggested that I mix some sand in with it to keep it from compacting. I don't really have any sand right now. I've got about half the trailer unloaded now and about half the box filled. The landscape rake, wonderful piece of equipment right there. See how nice it makes it? I haven't even really tried to flatten it out, I'm just surfacing it. What I'm doing, I'm screeding it like you would concrete. I'm taking that two by four and I'm just working it back and forth and filling in the low spots now. Okay, well, it's all flattened out. I have wet it down. It's drying pretty rapidly. I didn't wet it very well. I'm using my rain barrel for all my water. I, I want to kind of stay away from the hose from the city water if I can, just because of the fluorides and the uh, chlorine and all that. I'm trying to go organic. Now, if that doesn't work out, if we get a dry spell this summer, and I happen to be here and not in South Africa or Alaska or uh, on, on a cargo ship somewhere halfway around the world, um, then as long as I can monitor it. But if, uh, if we come to a dry spell and we don't get rain, which is very unlikely this time of year in the South, uh, this is actually our rainy season and we get a lot of violent storms tornadoes that kind of thing so anyway uh, that's about it for now up until Tuesday when it freezes I'm also uh, kind of standing by waiting for the soaker hoses I can't plant seeds until the soaker hoses are in place because there's going to be nothing worse than uh, you know trying to manipulate a stiff soaker hose through a garden bed of loose soil that's got newly planted seeds in it in a square foot garden which can't really be disturbed so at least it can't be disturbed until the, the root systems take anyway uh, I don't know if I'll post this now or not it kind of depends um, how bored I get, but 
you know the drill. Subscribe if you want to. Leave a comment if you want to. Hope you enjoyed this um, as much as I did making it. Well, I really didn't enjoy making this too much. I like working with wood. But I don't really care for working with a lot of dirt <laughs> and digging. And I'm just not, you know, my back can't handle it. Getting to be an old man here. Anyway, thanks for watching. Catch you later.